Welcome to Beginner Drums. Today we're looking at memory locks because I've picked the one stand that doesn't have one. Today we're looking at memory locks because they're freaking awesome. Welcome to Beginner Drums, and it's a lesson you've all been waiting for, memory locks. You'll need a drum key for this, by the way. Uh, you might also need a screwdriver or some sort of a utility knife thing. So, memory locks are, let me just ditch the hat. Memory locks are these little bits on your stands. Here, that. And those little bits on your stand are invaluable but the amount of times that I go onto other people's kits and I find the memory locks are just kind of flapping about making some god awful rattling noise and uh, they've never been used ever the poor things and they're brilliant use them so memory locks what they're for is once you've got a stand in the position that you like it then you use the memory lock to lock it in that position so let's say and on this stand I've got two memory locks I've got one here and this one controls um, the height. So I could set this memory lock anywhere. Let me just show you. Loosen it off. So this stands perfectly functional without that. It doesn't really, it, it gives a little bit of extra support, but it'll, it'll work without the memory lock. But what this one does is control the height of the stand and the angle of it. So all we do is we'll pop that on to the stand once you've got it once you've got the stand on your kit in the place where you want it, let's say here, so let's say you got it there and that's the position you want it in, then all you have to do is tighten that. Okay, so that one there controls height and, so height up and down and angle left and right because it's got these little notches in, you see, and those notches line up with notches on the top of the other bit of the stand so that controls the, the angle of it as well. We've got another one on the top here. So there's a little memory lock, it's a smaller one, but it does exactly the same job. Let's say I really like this symbol, the boom arm, to be kind of like that at that angle. So I would tighten my normal nut, and then all I would do is bring the memory lock down, like this, loosen it off, and just bring it down so that that little lug engages with the little notch on there. Sometimes these can be a bit tight and if they are carefully get either a knife that isn't too sharp or a flat blade screwdriver and if you just pop it between where the, the memory lock kind of joins and you can prise it apart a, a tiny little bit because sometimes they get a little bit stuck. So if you just prise it apart like that a tiny bit while you're moving it it will help you get it into the right position. So but be careful, don't chop your fingers off. And then once you've got it in the right place, so there we go, I've now engaged that little lug in that little gap, and it's at that height, and now I tighten it with my drum key. Ba, ba, ba. And now, whenever I put this stand up, oh, I can't remember what angle my symbol goes at. Oh, look, I've got a memory lock. Done, tighten that jobs are good and, and you'll find memory locks are on most vaguely decent drum hardware um, I've got so for example these cymbal stands have got two drum stools nearly always have them uh, this one's kind of got two that's kind of a memory lock sometimes they're quite structural so for example this one if you didn't have that memory lock tightened you'd probably find your stool might drop up and down a little bit. Well, it's not gonna drop up, anyway. So we've kind of got one here, that sets the height of the stool. So we've got one here as well, and that, that's kind of setting the height of this part of the stand if I was to loosen that bolt, but I haven't got an Allen key kicking about, so I'm not gonna do that. Most of the time, memory locks uh, just need a standard drum key, but sometimes they're weird and need an Allen key like that. Nine out of 10 times, it's a normal drum key for memory locks. Hi-hat stands. Look, there's one. That sets the uppy downiness and the turny, turny-werniness of that. 
these stands have got it on one there. If you're not going to use them, either take them off the stand or tighten them up because if you don't use them, they're going to rattle and you don't want that. This stand here, so I'll just show you this actually. I'll get the little camera. So look, here's the memory lock there. So if I was to loosen this, take the stand, I can't take it all the way out because it's hitting the wall. So then I know I can get it back to that exact position because that memory lock sets it. So there you go, memory locks in a nutshell. If you've got any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. What's your favorite memory lock? Have you had any fond experiences with memory locks? Have you ever had a memory lock disaster? There was this one time I had this memory lock and I found that no matter how much I turned it, it just kept on going round and round and round and round. So don't forget to click subscribe and remember, this is a beginner drums channel for, for beginner drummers. And I've also got my other channel, Andy Mac Drums, which is all about stuff that's not for beginners. So things like uh, I've got reviews on there and a drum um, vlog, blog, blog, um, like uh, videos. And I've got covers, did I say covers? And uh, loads of other stuff. So anyway, subscribe to both subscribe to beginner drums and Andy Mac drums and then you'll see all the videos. See you next time.